Hey guys, it's me on ease. So today I'm going to share with you a book that I read recently called Wool by Hugh Howey. So Wool is a science fiction story and it takes place inside of a silo. Um, if you've grown up in, in the country, you know all about silos. But this silo is huge and it takes place kind of after the world kind of gets destroyed and the people inside have a lot of their history taken from them so they're not sure exactly what happened but they all have jobs they have systems for everything so if somebody dies then there's a lottery and all the couples that are there get to put in and see if they can have a baby very interesting stuff because population control would become pretty important if you're stuck in one silo it would also make things very strange you know somebody dies and you want to mourn them but at the same time if you got your number picked and you got to have the next baby it would be hard to have the right amount of sorrow <laughs> because you'd be oh my god now i get to have a baby i guess if that's what you're into so very fascinating take on what would happen if people had to be locked into one system and then each different level of the silo has different jobs so you'll have the mechanics on at the deep deep dark area way down working on the machines and then there's people who work with the computers much higher up and it's kind of like a caste system, which is very neat. And I think that that is something that, for whatever reason, people love doing. I don't get it um, because I really struggle with that idea that just because somebody works a certain sort of job or had the opportunity to go to college and get a PhD, for example, I don't buy that they are inherently better than somebody who works in trade who learned it from their grandfather or something like that it just doesn't make sense to me um but i really enjoyed how it was explored in the book and i don't want to give away too much because it was just really interesting and it was the kind of atmosphere that really sticks with you and makes you think about it afterward um very interesting i can't i can't help but that that word just keeps coming up because it, it was it was fascinating um seeing how the environment that these people lived in affected their interpersonal relationships and how they viewed themselves so anyway i'm going to put a link down there to the book so that you can check it out i highly recommend it it has been one of my favorite books that i read this past year and i owe it to my friend Parky at Parky Games because I had never heard of the book and I don't know if I would have found it otherwise. So thanks, Parky. All right, well, I'm going to finish my tea. Yeah, and I hope that you have tea too. Talk to you next time. Goodbye.